So have you ever seen trend icons like this and wish you could add them to your own project? In today's video, we're going to show you how to do just that. So let's jump right in. So let's select the cell where we want to add this. And we'll show you how to do that with multiple cells here in a moment. But let's go ahead and create this format here. And so you can go there by clicking here where it says more formats on your toolbar and go down here to custom number format. The other way you can get to this is by going to format number and then scroll down again to custom number format. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you will want to copy and paste those up and down symbols into either a text pad or pad or some other document because you can't go back and forth once you have this open. So what we're going to do is if we add a semicolon, you can see now it's showing positive and negative. If we add another one, you can see positive, negative and zero. So we can set options for our positive, negative and zero percent options here. So we can add, for example, a negative. Now, one thing you can also determine is if you want any decimal points to show up on those percentages. So maybe you want one decimal point, maybe you want two decimal places on those. So you can choose what you want to show up there or if you want none and you can delete that and just have zero percent. And so the zero is just a placeholder, just as FYI. Now, what we can do is add those symbols. So I'm going to copy and paste from my other document. And we can add it like this and then my down arrow in front of my negative. And so you can also decide if you want extra space in front or between that. You could also put that after as well if you prefer. Either way works. And so at this point we have those in there, but it's still black. And so we could handle this with some conditional formatting or we can do it right in here. So another option is you can add a color inside brackets. So we could do green. There's some that are named and I'll show you that here in a second. Green and red. And then there's other ones if you want a different option. So that's the basics of a uptrend with green, downtrend with red, and then zero just as black. So let's go ahead and apply this. And there we go. There's plus 15%. So if we change this to 95, now it's negative 5%. And if we change this to 100, then it goes to zero. All right, so wrap this video up. Let's look at some other cooler options that we have and run through this monthly trend indicator and how they'll look there. So for me, I don't like this super bright green. That may be just fine for you if you want a high contrast, but there are other cooler options on here. And so these first ones, you can actually use the color name. And so if you notice, I used green and red. And so you can use black, white, red, green, etc. But once you get beyond cyan here, then you have to go to the color number. And so, for example, maybe that red is fine. We want to change that green to this color number 10. And so the way we would do that is go back to our number format. And then we'll change this to instead of green to color 10. And so you can do that accordingly with the red as well. If you want to change that, you could even add it to the zero. So let's go ahead and apply that. And that looks a little more friendly to my eye. That's how I like it to look. And so now on this monthly trend indicator, once I have that number format made, I can simply select where I want to be applied, come up here, and then it's actually right here in the shortcut if you just did it. Otherwise, you can come back to custom number format and find it there or rebuild it potentially if you had to. But we can just select it right here from the shortcut. And then there it is. And so we can see immediately all those applied there. So maybe in this case, we want to add that decimal point so we could modify it real quick and come back here and just add one decimal place to each of these. Let's just do that. And there we go. We added a decimal point and a decimal place to each of those. And then finally, uh, you can review the colors here. So if you like, I have a link where you can download this template and then you'll have access to all these colors to be able to use for your own projects. So that is it. For today's video, make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you and to check out the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.